Hi again then guys and welcome to another instalment of the Automotive News Roundup and this time once again we're talking the supercar world. Last time of course we talked about the Ultima RS coming to Goodwood this year and then a previous episode about the fan assisted McLaren supercar that's forthcoming. So some very interesting developments recently especially in conjunction with the now confirmed hypercar rules at Le Mans. It's an interesting time for supercars, kind of a resurgence if you will. They've been a little bit quieter for a couple of years, especially if you compare it to all the supercars coming out in the 2000s and speaking of those kind of supercars coming out in the 2000s a very notable one when it comes to Porsches was of course the Carrera GT much more than just some extreme 911 totally different machine much more of a pure supercar and although there are 911s which are faster it still feels more exotic than just fast and of course that's one of the things that makes it a pure supercar rather than a sports car or even a super sports car this development is a very interesting one because a German company called Gembala, who have actually been registered as a manufacturer since 1985, even though the persisting thought that many people have about them is that they're an aftermarket tuning house, kind of like Roof, they tend to be thought of in a similar way, although that's not really the case. They're actually more like ground up creations that are based on Porsches, not just modified Porsches. And in Gembala's case, they have done more than just Porsche. They've done a number of Porsche models, some Ferraris, etc. But this is an intriguing one because it's going to be their first ground-up supercar. Now, Roof has already done that, the CTR3, and also the Club Sport version. Extremely fast, like 235 mile per hour supercars, very impressive machine. This will be the first time that Gembala has done that. Now, we have some official releases, some official press releases, if you will, from Gimbala themselves, and specifically from the managing director. We have the official image, just the single image of the car, and according to that official statement, the car is going to have considerably more than 800 horsepower, so a serious contender in a straight line, that's for sure, especially when you consider that they already offer 911-based models with a similar amount of power and they already do 0-16 to 16, about 2.5 seconds and have a top speed in excess of 230. So it's going to be fast, that is guaranteed. Doubtless it will have more downforce and also slicker aerodynamics than the 911. So again, I'm really looking forward to seeing what the top speed in particular could be on this thing. More so, in fact, a hypercar potentially than a supercar. And in terms of the car's goals, we're going to see it hopefully next year. And again, that's according to the official release from Gimbala. They want to show the car in 2020, hopefully start production in 2022. And in terms of the car's goals, it's not just some Hennessy Venom, you know, straight line machine. It's specifically designed to be much more of like a Pagani or Koenigsegg or Spiker style exotic, where it's got the straight line performance, the cornering ability and luxury, a true all round complete supercar package. And in conjunction with the looks, if it ends up looking like this, that's a pretty exciting prospect. Doubtless the car will be extremely fast, and of course we'll probably cover this story again as it unfolds and when we actually finally see the car. But I'm actually really excited for this one. Gambala is one of those quieter companies when it comes to this channel. We don't get the chance to talk about them that often because they're not featured in that many games. Midnight Club is one of the only examples I can think of. But overall, I'm looking forward to this one. Slap your thoughts down below, and of course, stick around for more news like this. But for now, as always, thanks for watching.